Hello everyone, you know some footballers enjoy a rainy day, not sure fans always feel that way, but an exciting match in prospect nonetheless. My name is Derek Ray and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And what we have coming up for you is live action from League One. It's AFC Wimbledon and they face Burton Albion. I'm excited Derek, really looking forward to this game. Come on, bring it on. The lineup then for the hosts. It's always interesting to try to sum up a team's style of play, their approach, and there are many who think that it's overly conservative in this case. What do you think, Lee? Well, Derek, it's not my preferred way of playing, that's for sure, but horses for courses is fine until you concede. Do they have a plan B if that happens? I'm not too sure. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. This particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one central striker, two wingers will provide the width, a very narrow three in midfield. The back four, the two full backs will be expected to support, but also defend and help out the centre backs. Thank you, enjoy the game. And so the match is underway. He's given it straight to the opposition. Quinn. Daniel. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. Fraser. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Uh, the keeper completely untroubled. marks for that pass in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here and you need your defender to take charge and they will be awarded a free kick for that And a goal kick given. Edwards, really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. And that's an important intervention. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Fraser. Quinn. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Edwards. It needs an accurate cross and clears his lines. Far from a good pass. A move of promise on the flank. Fraser read it superbly to take back possession. And no nonsense defensive clearance. 
Quinn. And it's played into the centre. Cleared away comprehensively. Sanders. This might have potential. Not to be in terms of the cross there. Goal kick coming up. Quinn, Edwards, Fraser, Boyce, Sanders, Thomas, Sanders, Daniel the fourth and Liam Boyce to do with the minimum of two minutes of added time. Fraser, a chance to whip it in. There it is, the half-time whistle. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Sanders. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Well, just couldn't keep himself onside. Sanders, Riley, Thomas, over the touchline for a throw in. Can the owner of the red convertible registration... Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Your Edwards. Thank you. Gets his glove on it. Dealing with the threat that was real. Riley. Edwards, Quinn, Boyce, setting off perhaps a little bit too much here, Edwards, and he was in the right place to intercept, danger averted for now.
in full control of the ball here. It did take a touch on the way through, hence a corner. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes, and now both sides will make personnel switches. Played into the center of the box. To be this time. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. What can he do from here? And it's a quality pass. A goal it is at long last. They've broken the deadlock. Well, it's been so close this game. Tactics have played a part. Now they're going to have to change the tactics and see what happens. Well, the coaches will tell you, pass the ball how you would like to receive it. Perfectly weighted, and he finished it off brilliantly. A chance to revisit the goal. So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. The visitors' possession stats are brilliant, but after that, it's been disappointing. I'd like to see them use those wide areas around the defence, get round them as opposed to trying to go through the middle. Doughty defending to win the ball back. They've regained possession. Edwards. And that's an important intervention. Just listen to the fans here, Derek. They've just kept their noses in front, and these fans are doing their best to push them to the final whistle. Well, let's see that again. Oh, he's so sweetly hit. Look at his technique. Absolutely brilliant. He's got the power, he's got the accuracy. And now he's got himself a goal. Well, a second goal for them here. And a goal for AFC Wimbledon. Number 39, Joe Piggott. And given away. The referee's verdict is referee three additional minutes. Now they've lost it. Of added time. Quinn, Edwards, Fraser, Daniel. And whipped into the box. That's it, the referee brings the action to an end. And the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. Well, that was a really, really good performance from the lad and a goal to boot. Really delighted with that goal, I'm sure he is.